Assalamu alaikum students this is Ms Maro from SM Public Academy campus 5 How are you all I hope you all are fine and doing great So let's start our today's lecture lecture 13 We are going to do comprehension for today. So keep your comprehension worksheets in front of you. So the name of this comprehension is a smart cat. What is the name of this comprehension? A smart cat. What can you see in this picture? There is a boy and what is he trying to do? He is trying to catch the ball. There is a little girl also. This girl is his sister. All right? She is his younger sister. I think she has thrown the ball that the boy is trying to catch. And how is the day? The day is sunny. It's a sunny day. They are playing in the sunny day. So let's read this poem. I smart cat She tosses me the ball I toss it back to sis She throws it really high Let's see you catch this So the sister threw the ball to his brother and she threw it really high She was trying to check whether his brother can catch the high ball or not. So let's see the new word from the above lines. Toss. Toss means throw. The sun is in my eyes. Where is that ball now? I've got to spot the ball and catch it somehow. I've I've is the contraction or short form of I have. Okay? So what happened when the girl threw the ball to his brother? He was having difficulty, right? He was having difficulty in catching the ball. Why? Because the sun was in his eyes. What does it mean? It means the bright light of the sun was shining directly into his eyes and he was having difficulty in opening his eyes, all right? so he couldn't see the ball i've got to spot the ball and catch it somehow and he was saying that i have to find the ball i have to notice where the ball is and i have to catch it in some way let's see the new words spot Spot means see. Somehow, somehow means in some way. I'm waiting and waiting. My glove is waiting too. I'm looking up, not looking down. I trip on my left shoe. So the boy was waiting 
with the open hand right you can see this in the picture so he was waiting and his glove was waiting for what he was waiting he was waiting for the ball all right he was continuously looking up for the ball so he tripped or slipped on his left shoe trip means slip okay i'm diving towards the ground my arms are stretched out straight i open up my glove but i'm afraid that i'm too late diving you might have seen the swimmers diving in the water here diving means jumping so he was jumping towards the ground with his stretched and straight arms he had opened his gloves to catch the ball but he was afraid that he was too late okay he was thinking that he might have missed the ball diving diving means jumping stretched stretched means extended all right i can't believe my eyes i think i see the ball it's nestled in my glove i caught it after all so when he saw the ball when he noticed the ball he was so happy that he couldn't believe his eyes okay the ball nestled in his glove you can see this in the picture the ball was stuck or the ball was settled in his glove and he had caught the ball after trying so hard nestled nestled means held tightly i hear my sister cheering she saw my super catch but fido stole the ball from me he thinks we are playing fetch you can see this in the picture the girl is cheering because his brother had caught the ball right she was cheering to see his brother's super catch but what silly thing happened fido fido might be his dog okay but fido stole the ball from his brother because fido thought that they were playing fetch in the fetch you have to take the ball okay the person who is catching the ball you have to snatch from him so fido thought that they are playing fetch stole stole means robbed or took fetch fetch means snatch so we have read the comprehension i hope you have read it with me now look at your comprehension worksheet we are going to discuss the questions now let's see some questions okay choose an appropriate title for this poem like this poem has a title of i smart catch so we have some options here and we have to choose 
the most suitable title. All right. My sister's amazing toss. Fido's bad day. My amazing catch. The ball that went up but never came down. Now we have four options here. We have to choose any one. Which one is the best? My amazing catch. Okay. So which one is the most appropriate title? My amazing catch. List two reasons the boy had difficulty catching the ball. We have read the comprehension and we know that the boy was having difficulty in catching the ball. So you have to write any two reasons. Alright? The sun was in his eyes. This is our first reason. That the sun was shining brightly directly into his eyes. So he could not see the ball properly. The ball was so high. His sister threw the ball so high, right? What silly event happened in the last line of the poem? Do you remember? What happened in the last? Fido stole the ball because he thought that they were playing fetch. Okay? What does the word nestled mean in the line 10? I told you the meaning of nestled. Fell from above. Held on by a little bit. Rolling round. Held snugly or tightly. So, what do you think? What is the correct answer? Held snugly or tightly. Alright, option D. Nestled means held snugly or tightly. Now, we are done. Let's see the worksheet that you have in your comprehension worksheets. Here is the worksheet for this comprehension. I smart catch. It is on page number 8. So you have to do this here. Alright. You can write all the answers yourself because we have discussed all these questions. Alright? Don't take this worksheet out from your comprehension worksheets. Just do it in your comprehension worksheet. Okay? Don't take it out. I hope you will do it very neatly. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video my dear students. I will be back with another lesson. Alright. Till then take care. Allah Hafiz.